Hey there, Joey from dayjobhacks.com. Today I'm gonna to talk about how to set up conversion tracking with Bing Ads and your CPA affiliate network. Now this is one of those things that is very important if you're going to be running Bing Ads and I have done other videos on Bing Ads in the past. It's one of my favorite traffic sources, especially for newbie affiliate marketers. Let me ramble on for about 25 more seconds, okay? This video was inspired by questions I get inside the Powerhouse Affiliate Forum, inside our Facebook group, as well as comments on my YouTube videos. If you ever have questions about affiliate marketing, making money online, all of those fun things about media buying, then please subscribe to this channel, like, comment, or share, and please post questions you have. And today we're gonna to answer the question, how do you set up conversion tracking with Bing Ads and CPA affiliate networks? Here we go, let's get inside my account and I'll show you exactly how to do it. There are several different ways to do it and sometimes some work better than others. Here we go. Okay, so I just set up a campaign in Bing Ads for an e-commerce offer. I'm running through a CPA network. Now I want all of the conversions to track inside Bing so that I can do all of those fun things that you're allowed to do when it comes to optimizing, pausing ads, you can see everything that's happening. Now I've done videos on this before, you can check out my channel, there'll be links down below as well. So how do we set up the conversion tracking? Let's do that right now without rambling on anymore. So first thing first, we need to go up to tools and we need to select e UET tag, okay? You're gonna select that and you're going to create your UET tag. I've already created one, I've called it the standard tag and the description is the main tag. And basically it is unverified because this is a brand new account. I just set it up and I'm just showing you the steps that involve. So once you've created this tag, you can actually view the tag. And what you want to do is you want to grab this code. So there's going to be two ways we set up conversion tracking. I'm going to show you one way, which is an easy way. And then I'm going to show you a second way, which is a more advanced way, which works much better in my opinion, because then you have much more control over your pixels. Okay. But first way first, let's grab this and we're gonna take it over to our CPA affiliate network. So in this case, let's just uh, pull up a sample account here at Vault Media. This is a CPA network that uses Everflow. It is a tracking platform designed for CPA affiliate networks. Many affiliate networks out there use this one, but there are other networks out there, mainstream ones that use places like Has Offers or Cake Marketing. All of the theories and, and, and steps here apply and will work on Cake or Has Offers. There might just be different wordings and stuff here, okay? But basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna find out where you add your postbacks and pixels on your CPA network. You're going to click on there and what you're going to do is you're going to add a postback. In this case, you would come here and you have a few options, okay? So we want it active, of course. The postback is going to fire on conversions and the postback level. Here you can set either global or specific offers. I recommend on Bing that you set specific offers so that when you set up your goals in Bing, which I'm gonna show you in a second, you can actually set up payouts and stuff like that. You can set up the payout and what you're actually earning. So don't go global, go specific offer and select the offer you're going to run. So I'm just gonna pick a, uh, a sample here. Let's just say I'm running uh, doo -doo -doo, blood sugar, okay? Blood sugar premier VSL, okay? Now I'm gonna select HTML because I want to put in that code from Bing, but I'm not done yet. There is another code we need to also add here. So let's go back to Bing and set that up. So we're gonna close this. Now we need to set up a goal. So we're gonna come into conversion goals and now we need to create the goal. What is your goal of your campaign? Do you want leads? Do you want sales? Do you want conversions from your CPA network? In this case, we want a conversion. And so we're gonna create a conversion goal and I'm gonna call this uh, sale e-commerce, okay? And I could call it sale e-commerce, blood, whatever it was, blood sugar, because that's what the offer was that I selected. Now, in this case, we don't have access to the destination URL, which would normally be the thank you page if we owned the product and somebody bought our product and they went to the thank you page. We could say whenever anyone lands on the destination URL, we want it to fire a conversion. Well, we can't do that here. All we can do is fire on page views, okay? Um, we don't have the ability to track duration. Well, we kind of do on our front sales page, but on the sales pay on the thanks pages, we don't. So in order to track conversions, we need to track a page view or an event if we can do it that way. But I do it this way with page viewed 
per pages viewed per visit. Okay, so we're only going to be firing this conversion pixel once every time a user converts. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to say pages per visit is greater than zero, which means if they buy the product, the CPA network will fire that page view only once. Okay. And that'll be greater than zero. So technically it should fire this conversion goal for us. Um, I'm going to leave the category. I'm going to use this on this account. I'm not doing it across all my accounts. And now here's where we can set the value. If I'm getting a $50 payout on this offer, I can set $50 or I can just not assign a value. I'll put $50 and we want to count uniques. Okay. Not all. So this doesn't really matter because the, the, the network isn't going to fire the pixel twice unless of course we got two conversions, but it's very rare. You're going to get two conversions from the same person. So I'm just going to go unique and conversion window. You can set whatever you want here. I'm, I'm going to leave it at 30 days <clears throat> and include in conversions. Yes, of course we want that included and we're going to select the UET tag that we created earlier. And here we go. So to meet the product conversion goal requirements, you need to customize your tag, all that kind of stuff. Make sure your tag is working. So we're going to copy this now. And this is the goal code. So we need to copy it and we need to also add that into the same box as before. So now it's going to fire the UET tag along with the goal tag. And it's going to tell Bing a conversion happened. Okay. So we're going to add that. And that should work. Okay. Now there's another way to do this, that if this doesn't work, maybe you might want to try a different way. Okay. And it is using Google tag manager. We make sure we want to save that by the way, on your Microsoft ads account. Now I use Google tag manager because I really uh, like to manage all of my pixels in one place. If I'm using multiple different networks and you know, I have a bunch of different accounts everywhere. It's nice to have one place where I can manage all of my pixels and plus Google tag manager gives me the ability to do things that, you know, normally you cannot do without a coder. So for example, if I want to fire my pixel on somebody clicking through my landing page, it's extremely easy to do with Google tag manager, just by setting up a rule to fire this pixel whenever somebody clicks through a link. And this is a great way to optimize your campaigns first by click through rate versus optimizing it just for conversions. Okay. Because it's hard to get that first conversion if you don't even know if you're getting people interested in your product. So that's why I use Google tag manager. I have other videos coming up in the future. If you have questions about that, maybe I'll do another video about that more in depth, but here we go. Let's set this up quickly. So Google tag manager is free. Sign up to Google tag manager. And then when you get inside, it's going to ask you to create a new account so you can add a new account. And here's where you would put your website name, your country, go through all of the steps, select web, and we'll do that quickly here as a sample. So I'm just going to put sample and select your country again, container name, sample, select web and create, go through their steps. Make sure you read all of these rules and say yes. Okay. Now that we're in here, what you can actually do is take this code that they give you and put it right into your CPA affiliate networks. Okay. The same exact way I did it with Bing, but now you can actually add this Google tag manager into your CPA networks, which works a lot better. I find, cause now you can put all of your pixels now into Google tag manager. So here's what I'll do is I'll copy that. And again, you would go back in, you can click add post back. And for this one, you can set it up as global if you want or whatever you want. And HTML and you're going to paste that in there as well as the second piece of code, which is this one. You're going to copy that and you want to add that in there as well. So once you've placed your code, you're going to click add. And now what you can do is you can actually come into Google tag manager and start adding in tags, which would be basically whatever you want. Anytime, a conversion happens now on the network, it's going to fire my Google tag manager. And now Google tag manager will activate certain tags I've set up. So there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do in here for tags. It's just unreal. Like wh why I never did this back in the day. Um, this is something I just started doing the last couple of years as a media buyer, but look at all the things you can do. Now you can set up your Google analytics in here. 
Um, but for specifically for conversion tracking, um, you can start setting up custom HTML here. So you can actually put your Bing code in here and then you can trigger um, to view all pages. So whenever that, um, so let's just show you for an example here. If I put my Bing code in here, I can just paste all of that code. As you can see, I put both scripts in here as the custom HTML. I can call this the Bing conversion. Okay. And I can call it whatever tag goal I want. I could say the goal was the blood sugar. Again, this would only fire, this would fire globally. So if you want to set this up on an offer level, again, you would do that. But I'm just showing you how to set it up. So now you have the tag configured. Now you want to trigger again this on all pages. So you're going to select all pages. So anytime the Google Tag Manager is fired, it's going to fire the Bing conversion for you and you just save that, okay? So this is what you can do now, okay? The beauty of Google Tag Manager is that once you start working with it more and more, you're going to learn more of the features that you can use and start doing some more of the advanced tactics like I was talking about earlier, where you start setting up tags for click-throughs and other things like that. So you, like I said, you can come in here and you can put in your custom HTML, but when you set up your trigger, you can actually change the trigger now to something different where you can say, if they view this page, I can fire a conversion. Or if they click on this link, I can fire a conversion. So you can say, hey, Google, or whatever traffic source you're running, in this case, Bing, um, I want to focus my ads on people that click through to the checkout page. Now you can say anybody that clicks on my link that says this, whatever, you can define whatever click you want. If the click URL contains a certain uh, parameter or a certain uh, word, like in, in, whatever it is, you can now say, I want to fire that pixel. So that is why I suggest you use Google Tag Manager when setting up conversion tracking. If you have any other questions, if this wasn't clear, please ask them in the comments. Hope you enjoyed that. And if you do, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like it, share it, and ask any questions you have. Maybe it'll inspire the next video.